I'm very curious uh, if you have to nominate someone, let's say the next person we can, uh, we should talk to, uh, have on the show that if people are interested in biotech, who should they, um, you know, read about, watch their video, a conference, read a book. Uh, that's just your little time to say, hey, that person needs just a bit more spotlight. Uh, who would that be? I would bring in Vince Martin. He's a chief scientific officer of District 3, but that's not why I'm bringing him on. Vince, Vince has a, a very unique journey. He was actually in Silicon Valley um, at the early stages of his career. He, uh, he was a co-founder of a, comp of a very successful biotech firm called Amaris outside San Francisco. And he's also the co-founder of, of the Genomic Center of Concordia. He just founded and created the whole genome foundry environment. Uh, which is of huge value for for uh, for our bio innovators. Vince has a very unique mm -hmm. perspective on this journey of science, entrepreneurship, the realities of what that means. So, what tough question? Because <laughs> you know, when you do those interviews, uh, some questions you know better the answer. Some are a bit more tricky. What tough questions should we ask him about? What tough questions should you ask Vince? You're going to yeah. get me into trouble. I can't answer that question. Vince's going to kill me. So safe. Come on, you can do it. I think you should ask Vince, how does one choose to be more a researcher, more a hands-on innovator and, and, and thus entrepreneur? Interesting. Uh, Ludovic, do you have something in mind? Yeah, in terms of nomination, I would, I would just uh, maybe put the spotlight on another um, company, a startup in Montreal that is called Nuvio. Um, mm -hmm. They work on uh, developing uh, different microfluidic systems uh, for uh, you know, neuro and cell uh, growth and, and it's very exciting. They work in the uh, neuroscience space. So Hugo McGuire is the guy to to talk to, and I think. It'll be and what is the exciting. tricky question that Hugo is is the right person to be like challenged with? <laughs> well, I I would say um, that's something you you better ask him. Like <laughs> what? So what you're would pretty, you so safe. <laughs> I, I wouldn't get into this one. <laughs> okay, okay. I have higher expectation for you, Joel. Think of somebody that we should put the spotlight on. Yeah, I, I have to say that Xavier scooped me. The first name uh, I instantly thought of is Vince Martin. <laughs> I've known him yeah. for even longer than you, Xavier. He brought so much to Montreal. And indeed, his biofoundry is amazing. Graduates from my lab keep going to work in his lab because it's such a fantastic place. And I think the really tough question to ask. Ah, here, yeah. Because, you know, so far it's the same name. So you have to surprise us with the tough question. Well, I don't think it's much of a surprise, but I would ask about time management. Because indeed, this is something, uh, already being a, an innovator is, is so time consuming. And to be a researcher also in a big team it's very demanding. So how do you how do you make those choices? Where how do, what do you prioritize? And or or how do you create links between what you're doing as basic research and as potential commercialization? That makes sense. It's this whole thing I see when people go through that journey. At some point, if you do research or if you do marketing or if you do business, whatever you do, at some point you're transitioning towards other things that take you time, and sometimes that takes people by surprise. 